I know there's a lot of students in here tonight, and those of you that are students, especially those of you that are first years, let me tell you now from experience, like I said, I'm 35 years old, right? Let me tell you now, university is the period of your life where you will do more things for the first time than you have ever done in your life, right? Most of you will have sex for the first time. I know you'll say you've done it before, but statistically, most of you are full of shit, right? <laughs> You're talking bollocks. Right? Most of you, a lot of you, m many of you will do drugs for the first time, and that's, that, that's fine. Do you know what I mean? And I was, I was, right, I was, I was almost going to say then uh, that I've, I've never done drugs. Now, that's not strictly true. I did cannabis once, right? Because everybody told me it was going to be amazing. It wasn't amazing. I threw up, and I couldn't stop thinking for nine hours. <laughs> right? Rubbish, right? But I got friends. I got friends that are well into their drugs, right? My mate Dave, his drug of choice was mushrooms, magic mushrooms. If you don't know what magic mushrooms are, right? They're a hallucinogenic. They make you see things that aren't really there. Now, the government in this country say, "Don't do magic mushrooms. It's wrong." <laughs> but the government are also realistic, and they say, "Listen, if you are going to do magic mushrooms, make sure you get a friend to watch you." who's not doing magic mushrooms, <laughs> who can make sure you don't do anything stupid, like, for instance, try to rugby tackle a bus, because <laughs> you think it's one of the Teletubbies. <laughs> right? Now, my mate Dave, he rang me, right? He rang me one day, he said, Danny, you don't do drugs, will you come and watch me take mushrooms? And I said, Dave, i got fuck all better to do with my life. <laughs> So Dave, right, Dave gave me his drug dealer's address, which I didn't think the drug dealer would have been happy about, right? <laughs> but I drove over, and it's about 10 years ago, right? I drove over to this drug dealer's house in Bolton, right? I drove over, me and Dave were walking back to the car. As we're walking back to the car, Dave did something that I considered ungentlemanly, right? <laughs> As we're walking back to the car, my mate Dave opens his freshly purchased bag of mushrooms, takes out a handful, glugs them back, then just looks at me and goes, Danny you got 15 minutes to get me home or this drive is going to get fucking tasty. <laughs> and what did you do? I panicked, right? I proper panicked, right? I dived in my car. Now, like I said, it's 10 years ago and I'm not a wealthy man. My car didn't have central locking. I dived in the car. I leant over to pop the lock up for Dave. On the seat, there's a little girl's doll. Now, very good reason why the doll was there. I'd given my cousin a lift to school that day. I'd taken Molly to school. She's not allowed to take the doll with her. She'd had to leave it in my car. Don't look at me like that, right? <laughs> I told the police the same thing, back the fuck down Liverpool, right? I sweep up the doll so Dave won't sit on it, because that's just good manners. My mate Dave gets in the car, puts the seatbelt on, turns around to me, he goes, right, Danny, take me home. Now, step back from that. Allow yourself to see it from the outside in, if you will. And what you'll see there is I've now got a man on mushrooms... <laughs> A little girl's doll <laughs> and a confined space. <laughs> right? My mate Dave turned around and said that to me. He didn't see his friend Danny, right? All he could see was a doll. <laughs> right? And the first question he asked was quite a normal question for someone that had just taken mushrooms and was now staring at a doll. He went, Danny, can you see that doll? <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> There's no doll there, Dave, right? <laughs> My mate Dave got a little bit panicky. He went, seriously, mate, don't fuck about. <laughs> right? Don't be a dick, right? Is there a doll there or not? Right? And I was really proud of this because I got the doll and went, no, Dave. <laughs> There's no doll there, right? I let this go on for about five minutes, right? After five minutes, my mate Dave was in the fetal position, right? On my passenger seat, right? Crying, little tears rolling down his face, going, Seriously, mate, don't fuck me about, don't be a dick, I've taken mushrooms. You know I've taken mushrooms, don't be a prick about this, but just be honest with me, because we've been friends a very long time, and if you're fucking about, I'll get over it, but seriously, I think you're a dick right now. But seriously, <laughs> yes or no, is there a doll there or not? And I was really proud of this, right? Because I got the doll and went, Danny can't see me, Dave. <laughs> I'm going to take you to a field and fuck you up. <laughs> You're going to wake up in a wheelie bin, Dave. 
It's immature, but it's funny as fuck. <laughs> word of warning, like, if you are thinking of doing it, like, do it. It's immature, but it is a good laugh. Uh, word of warning, if you are going to do it, um, make sure the car isn't moving. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, one, it's dangerous, but two, when your mate opens a car door on the M62, <laughs> 70 miles an hour, you get a right fucking draft. Um, 